Now, if you have a female snake that's laid a clutch of eggs and you want to remove the eggs from the female to artificially incubate, this is one of the ways you go about doing it. And this is Goldie. Goldie's a, um, a striped coastal carpet. And Goldie's one of my favourite all-time breeding animals because she produces absolutely outstanding um, progeny or, or youngsters. What you need to do is you need to do a number of things. You need to go along and get some latex gloves and you feed the snake, but not a really big food item. You normally give it, say, a medium size to small rat because this female's been gravid or pregnant for such a long time. It's a good idea not to feed a really, really large meal, just a small meal so she can digest it well and truly and uh, she's not having to work too hard to eat it because she's uh, just spent a lot of time and energy actually laying eggs. Now the egg media that I use for all my laying females is Critters Crumble Coarse. I find it is a really, really good product. No chemicals are used in the process. Um, it absorbs moisture and retains moisture, uh, which is really, really good for a female finding a, a good place to lay eggs. And the other thing is um, it's very um, absorbent of smell and it's also got thermal qualities. Now Goldie's well and truly um, on to feeding on that rat now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lean in carefully and I'm going to move her body over. This can be a little bit tricky to do. I've just got to be careful she doesn't let go of the rat and bite me. So if I can get that coil away from her. There we go. There's the clutch of eggs. Look at that. There's the clutch of eggs. Okay, here go the clutch of eggs and we'll weigh them. Okay, so we're looking at 995 grams, which is a big clutch, which is nearly a kilo in eggs. So that's really quite remarkable. Now what I can do while they're there, I can go along and mark them. So there's number one. Number two, number three. So there's a clutch of eggs. Now I'm going to carry the eggs inside, put them into the incubator, and then they can start cooking away.